All right, everyone, today we are blessed with the presence of the man himself, Thibaut Courtois. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Good yeah. to have you here. Thank you. So, your career so far has been absolutely astonishing. Tell me just how did it start? Where did it start? Yeah, it started uh, in my backyard, I would almost say, like a small team uh, close to my uh, uh, house, uh, where I started to play as a left back. Then, uh, okay. yeah, it was different. Then even uh, uh, Karse Genk, uh, one of the best teams in Belgium and I think one of the best youth uh, teams to be in. Uh, it's 10, 15 minutes from my house. Obviously, they, they scout a lot in the region. Uh, they saw me, I tested a bit. They signed me also as a left back, <laughs> and then uh, there and was. At what age was this? Uh, this was uh, seven. Okay. So uh, I started at seven, eight years old uh, in gang. So it was already a big step, training three, four times a week, a uh, game. Uh, but then there were some tournaments, uh, and because I love to play volleyball, because my family all played volleyball, I, I love to dive. So yeah, the the coach said, yeah, you, you want to be in goal for the tournament, and I said, yeah, yeah, why not? You know, uh, I would play every game, so it was it was good, and I was best goalkeeper of the tournament. So obviously there they saw a bit that I had uh, quality, and then I still rotated. You know, when we played on the small seven side uh, games. Uh, we would still rotate, like the striker could be in goal. Uh, they wanted everyone to play in every position to that everyone learns, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and then when we got on a big pitch, there's when they really pushed me a bit more to the goalkeeper side. And that's where, at 10 years old, my goalkeeping career really kicked off, I would say. So do you think that that has affected your game, like, as a professional when you're an adult? Because, you know, playing as a left back, having more time with the ball on your feet. Do you think that affected your game as a pro? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, it's good that, that kids uh, start with goalkeeping classes, but I, I wouldn't just put them in a goal that young because my son is four now and he started now uh, also to train. Uh, and the first question of the train was, hey, he also wants to be goalkeeper because uh, we like, and I thought, no, like he has to play outfield as long as he can. And if he likes goalkeeping, okay, he can maybe do one extra training or so. But yeah. I don't want to pin him already from the beginning there. Obviously, it's good to have quality in the beginning, but uh, nowadays the, the feet work is so important. Uh, every coach almost wants to start from the back uh, where the goalkeeper is uh, one of the main assets. So, uh, yeah. Do you think that that has changed in the past like 10, 15 years that? you know, the, the goalkeeper role has changed, like uh, more footwork, uh, more aggressive, more like outfield. Yeah, definitely. I think a goalkeeper is not anymore uh, waiting on his line, making the big saves. Uh, that that time has uh, has gone, you know, I think now you have to be able to give decisive passes with the feet, you know, like uh, there's pressure, play through the pressure, give a little chip behind, you know, you're almost like a midfielder. Uh, yeah. That's almost what they expect from you, not in every team. Obviously, there's also teams that just move up and long ball, you know, but in a lot of teams, I think the bigger teams is play from the back. It's also being able to uh, uh, balls in depth, you know, you have to play with the distance, you know, with your defense to be able to uh, to run outside the box and to, to get that ball. So it's it's gone. Yeah, it's became so different football for goalkeepers. So but it's good. Always football has evolution and will always uh, I think the goalkeeper is now more important in the team than, than just saving balls before. Yeah, I, I kind of felt that, you know, I've seen assists from goalkeepers, I've even seen, you know, goals from goalkeepers. Uh, but what would you say is like your best attribute as a goalkeeper? Um, yeah, it's it's hard to say because I think I'm really a complete goalkeeper. I think, uh, for example, like collecting crosses, uh, uh, that's something that's really important that I think uh, with my height uh, I do really well. I think 1v1s also, my reflexes, I think my positioning is also good. I think uh, with my height and with the right position you don't always have to make a big save. So obviously for people on the TV it will look like an easy save, but it's also thanks to my positioning mm -hmm. that uh, and the reading that uh, yeah, that you, you can save a ball that easy. You know? Being a goalkeeper, you're almost always like, you know, in the penalty area, you're by yourself. But how do you keep focus for 90 minutes? I mean, you've been playing for teams that, you know, are leading the game, so you don't get that much action. But when it comes, you need to be 100% prepared. How do you mentally prepare for that? Yeah, I think in the end, I think there's also one of the bigger qualities I had since a kid, because obviously I made my debut with 16, so that was quite young. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, just 
talking and and stay focused inside the game. You know, looking at your defense, being able to talk a bit with them. Even sometimes they might not hear you because with the crowd it's hard. Mm -hmm. But just talk, talking, talking, and 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 just always be looking where where they can hit you on the counter attack. You know, because as you said, we we have the ball a lot. So obviously, we are often really high on the pitch. So if then at that time you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you have to see that maybe if your right back moves up and your left back moves up and suddenly it's a 2v2, yeah, you have to be able to maybe coach and shout to someone, no, let him come back or we need to, yeah, to be a bit more organized. So I think with talking and, and being able to watch that, uh, the time passes fast and you're really inside the game, you know? Yeah. But you mentioned that you, you made your professional debut at 16. Yeah. Okay, so. First, let me just appreciate that. It's 16 as a goalkeeper is very, very young. Um, but how how did that pressure get to you? Like, how did you handle the pressure at such a young age, being able to, you know, perform at such a big stage? Nah, to be fair, I think it only uh, hit me after the game. You know, I, so basically, what happened was uh, in the winter, uh, Logan Bayi moved to Mönchengladbach, Sinan Bolad, I think, left, and there was one first goalkeeper. They brought a new second goalkeeper, but was like an older guy. And then uh, there was Castells from Wolfsburg and me. And uh, so since New Year, we were playing. Uh, we were both doing well, training with the first team. The first goalkeeper got a red card. So the week the second goalkeeper was going to play, he tore his ligament of the ankle. So it was suddenly me or Castells, and Castells was just training two weeks again because he had some injury. So I was training well and, and the team felt confident that I could play. So yeah, I trained well, I felt good. Uh, I remember it was school holiday, so I was just in the backyard with other neighbors playing on the... Uh, on the how you call it on the on the trampoline in the garden, you know that my parents think, oh, you have to play Friday. What's he <laughs> doing, you know? Uh, but then, yeah, when I was in the game, uh, only it really hit me when I was in the tunnel. So I saw all the other uh, yeah. players from the other team, and it was a big game against Ghent. I was like, oh, okay, it's an important game. Uh, and then I saw, um, uh, and then after the game, I, I really got all the stress relieved, and I. Uh, yeah, I, I had to vomit even after talking with the press and so because I think it was maybe stress I didn't feel before the game or during the game, but suddenly after the game it like it got out. So yeah, you yeah. understood what happened. <laughs> yeah, and I mean a lot of the, the viewers of this channel are very young, aspiring, uh, you know, football players. Yeah. Uh, so do you have any tips and tricks for them to how to think, how to train to become a professional? Yeah, I would always say to at uh, training give your best. Uh, that's the most important. Uh, I think not only like listening to your goalkeeper coach, but also maybe <laughs> watch videos of a goalkeeper you you feel identified with. You know, like for example, my time it was I loved Casillas, but my style was more of under Sar, Peter Czech. So obviously, I would look more into them to see what they do in certain actions and 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 like this try to learn with videos to see what they do in what situations obviously it's a difference when you're 13 and when you play pro because the speed and everything is different but still i think it's important to learn from other goalkeepers and and just to train always at your best give your all train hard and and never get discouraged even with a mistake you know like we all make mistakes and it's uh, unfortunately yeah. uh, a hard job for a goalkeeper but yeah. uh, you make a mistake just go on you know it's 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 a learning process and never be afraid to make mistakes go to the game to help your team and not be afraid to make a mistake wow i mean very encouraging words from Thibaut Courtois there and i think a lot of people watching this is looking up to you as you know one of the greatest right now and uh, it's been great having you here thank you very um, much do you want to do the outro Thank you guys for watching. It was a real pleasure uh, talking about uh, my career and uh, giving you some tips. So uh, uh, keep on working uh, and hopefully one day I can watch you uh, sitting here in my place. See you guys.